Hey screen printers, it's Ryan from Ryanet, and today I'm in the Ryanet darkroom to demo our new scoop coder. You know, making a good screen is probably one of the most important steps in the screen printing process, and a good scoop coder is pivotal to making a good screen. You'll see that this new scoop coder is easier to use and clean than previous versions. First of all, it has stainless steel removable end caps. This is handy because the end caps screw directly into the coder with fine thread machine screws, which means your end caps won't come off if you don't want them to, but if you do want them to, you can take them off with ease. This coder has two edges for coating. The sharp edge of the coder will lay down less emulsion for a thinner coat for high meshes and fine detail prints, while the round edge will lay down more emulsion for a thicker coat when greater ink deposit is required or for coating low mesh screens. To coat the screen, we recommend starting about one inch from the bottom of the screen on the outside of the mesh. Let the emulsion pool up against the mesh, and then with a medium amount of pressure holding the coating edge to the screen, slide the coater to the top of the screen about one inch from the frame. Let the emulsion fall back into the coater by tilting it back slightly, and then saw off the excess emulsion for a clean separation. Next, we're gonna actually flip the screen over, so we push the emulsion into the other side of the mesh, creating strong bond against the knuckles of the mesh. Then simply do the same thing. It's important to note that you always want your finishing coat to be on the inside of the mesh so that the emulsion stencils built up on the outside of the mesh ensuring a good EOM or emulsion over mesh. And when letting the screen dry, dry it with the shirt side or flat side of the mesh down. Thanks for watching screen printers. Check out this new scoop coder on screenprinting.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome screen printing videos.